We are here to go over the Baltimore Ravens' top five keys to victory against those Cleveland Browns. Now, we did this a couple of weeks ago against the Cincinnati Bengals, but we didn't do it against the Colts, and hey, the Ravens lost. So is that loss on Indianapolis on me? No, not at all. But we decided to run it back for this Browns game. So let's get into it. Number five, Jadavian Clowney, and just really the Ravens' pass rush getting pressure on Deshaun Watson. We know Deshaun Watson right now, he is questionable heading into this game, and he's going to play, but how good is he going to be when he plays? Well, we don't want to find out how good he can be. We want to make him look as bad as he's ever been because he's dealing with that injury right now and it's so important whether he was healthy or not that the Ravens pass rush shows up so we know Jadavion Clowney is going to bring it especially against his old team and whatnot his old teammate but we need help we need more help it, it can't just be Jadavion Clowney alone because that's not going to be enough to get it done so Ravens they got to figure out a way Mike McDonald I'm sure he's going to be blitzing Kyle Hamilton again because Kyle Hamilton is our best pass rusher uh, so they need to get pressure on Deshaun Watson to make him even more uncomfortable than he already will be heading into this game number four the exact opposite of number five make Lamar Jackson as comfortable as he can possibly be you got Miles Garrett over there you got Zadarius Smith over there and, and the Browns got a couple of more guys like jock he be going crazy too so it's very important that this offensive line do whatever you got to do it's important that they get extremely creative in protecting lamar jackson from the browns pass rush because their pass rush is scary it's, it's extremely scary so if the ravens can protect their quarterback lamar jackson their 200 plus million dollar quarterback lamar jackson then that offense will be in much better shape. Number three is for Todd Munkin. You got to mix it up a bit. And what I mean when I say that, you got to throw these Browns all the way off their game because the Browns, they're a bit familiar with you because you used to be a coach on that offensive team staff so it's important that you don't go back to the same old stuff that you were doing in Cleveland and yeah you got your scheme and you got your style you got what you like to do but the Browns are going to be looking for that stuff because they know about you they know about your history they know about your past so you want to make sure that you leave the Browns in the past and show them hey it's all about the future now number two grab the jersey and I don't mean in cornerbacks I mean when you rushing the passer grab his jersey so he cannot escape Deshaun Watson while he is is not as shifty as Lamar Jackson I mean I don't think any quarterback is but you got to bring him down so many times we've seen it with the Baltimore Ravens they'll get back there and they'll just miss the sack they'll just miss the tackle they'll just miss bringing the quarterback down you cannot afford to do that in this game especially against the Deshaun Watson because we've seen him get loose before he, he can get loose real quick but we don't want him to do that and when you miss a sack that can end up, it can still end up being an incompletion, but it can end up also being a big play for the offense too. So grab that jersey when you get back there so he can't go nowhere. And my number one thing, and I think this will probably be every Ravens fan's number one thing, do not beat yourselves because we've seen the Ravens. Like last week, it was like they were trying to like almost troll us for a bit. Well, for the whole game, really. It was, it's almost like the Ravens were like, all right, watch this. We're going to make this mistake. We're going to do this. We're going to fumble the ball. We're going to turn it over. We're going to do this, do that. They have all these miscues. And let's see if we can still overcome that. Because we got this. We ain't worried about these Colts. And that end up coming back to bite them in the butt. And they lost the game. But if you do all the silly stuff like you were doing last, no, it ain't going to fly against Cleveland. Especially with this being a divisional game, you cannot afford to do that. So do not beat yourselves. Stop with the silly mistakes. Get on point. I hope this week in practice that they, they were just really gelling. Because, again, with all the injuries that the Ravens have right now, they cannot afford to beat themselves. They cannot afford to be their own biggest, worst enemy. It's not going to fly in Cleveland. So those were my top five ways that the Baltimore Ravens need to beat the Cleveland Browns. Now let's hear from the other side. Five things the Cleveland Browns need to do to win this game. I think this is an interesting matchup. Always tough in the AFC North, but things can be done this week for the Cleveland Browns to make sure that they can win this game. Here's what I think. I think number one, one thing the Browns could do to make sure they win this game is pressure, 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 pressure. They keep the pressure on in the past game. I think that it slowed down Lamar Jackson enough that it take away some of the screen stuff that the Ravens like to do. And that will slow the game down um, 
for the Browns to be able to take advantage of. Offensively, I think Deshaun Watson, number two, needs to have a calm, cool, collected game. He's going to get pressured. He's going to have guys in his face, but things are going to be open if he trusts it. So he's going to need to throw with anticipation, trust what he's seeing, and, and, and stand in the pocket, stay tall. If we see Deshaun, you know, playing that right to left, left to right, if he's doing an electric slide out there, basically, then you're going to need more to, to help you win this game offensively. And I don't know if you have more without Nick Chubb. So it's going to be on Deshaun. Deshaun has to stand in there, be that guy that he was in 2019, 2020, um, and la- the guy he was last week, and, and stand tall in that pressure. And I think he will be fine. Um, if we're also talking about other keys to victory, look, Amari Cooper or Elijah Moore, they got to win their one-on-ones. They're going to get some one-on-ones with as many guys as the Ravens like to blitz. You have to win your one-on-ones versus a Ronald Darby or a Rikison, and you have to play well and get those opportunities, get those big-time shots down the field. Um, and so that Deshaun can trust you early in this game to know that, hey, if I, I have an opportunity one-on-one, I can just throw you that ball real quick. I don't have to see it become open. Um, another thing, key to this game, I think it's going to be JOK. Look, JOK has created issues for Lamar Jackson in the past when it comes to his ability to break outside, and I think the speed of the Browns' defense has been something to where we're one of the few teams that are equipped to handle some of the run stuff from Lamar Jackson. The Browns did a good job containing Derrick Henry in week two, I mean in week three, Um, but this is a whole different game when it comes to Lamar Jackson, so I'm interested to see how that goes, but I think JOK is going to be very interesting Um, And important here. And I think Grant Delpit's also going to be the fifth key to victory here. Grant Delpit's our best run defender um, that's not on the defensive line. And I think he's been the second best defensive player on this team, not named Miles Garrett. And I think a lot of guys are playing well. He's just playing better. So his ability to cover tight ends is going to be huge in this one. And his ability to step in and run defense is going to be even big, bigger. So I think that's going to be the five keys to victory. For this Cleveland Browns team this week So now that we've heard from both sides We'll see which side applies more pressure And actually gets those top five things done Make sure you subscribe to my guy Quincy Carrier's YouTube channel He is one of the best Not only Browns content creators doing it But one of the best content creators On YouTube, period The man is on point So subscribe to his channel If you like Browns, cool If you don't like Browns, still cool Subscribe to him because he is amazing Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all This should be a really tough, stressful game I'll see y'all tomorrow on the live stream